What, you mean like Ben sort of didn't notice I was kissing a guy in the opening scene? Or... <laughs> of course it was, uh... oh, I love it. I mean, I was like, I'd, I'd known um, Kim Manners for many, many years and he'd always said that, you gotta come up and do the show, you gotta come up and do the show. And whenever I was doing anything else in Vancouver, if I saw him, he'd be talking about how much fun he was having with the boys. I remember watching the show for the first season I really, really enjoyed Supernatural a lot, and, and it passed me by, I got too busy. And uh, I came back to it in, in season four and had a look at season four and said, wow, it's changed a lot. But it still retains that great buddy movie feel to it, which I really enjoyed. And, uh, and then suddenly it came up and said, are you interested in this character? And I was like, absolutely. <laughs> For Ben Edlin to create a uh, sexually ambiguous crossroads. <laughs> I told, I told this story, it was really funny, but they couldn't find a 70-year-old man who would kiss another man on a day play in Vancouver. They, wouldn't, they couldn't find an actor who was willing to kiss a man who was 70 years old. Um, so they eventually found this guy, this lovely guy, Al Harvey Gold. And uh, so he, he, was the, he was the designated kisser, I guess. He was the guy who was going to kiss him. This was my first... Um, big scene in the machine. And we, we went out and we shot it in the morning. And this poor guy comes out, he's introduced to me. He's about 6'2, bald head over there, and size. He's very nice, he's really pleasant. But he's really nervous. Really nervous about this kissing scene. And I'm like, okay, so I start to be a little nice to him. But really, as soon as I'm the nicer I am to him, the worse his acting is going. <laughs> so I, I decide to leave him alone. So I leave him alone, he gets more nervous. So this gets worse and worse and worse. And we get to the point that we, we sort of dancing around the idea of the kiss in rehearsals and we sort of set up the stage. In. And then eventually we come to having to shoot it do it. Probably didn't help that just before I kissed him, I said, pucker up, buttercup. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. But, but uh, by the time I kissed him, he was a quivering, shaking, sweaty, clammy mess. <laughs> He was actually fighting me. <laughs> so I had to grab it. Kissing him was the most uninspiring thing that happened to me in a very long time. Uh, no disrespect to Harvey, but it was like kissing a piece of paper and did nothing. And, uh, like grabbing the back of his clammy, sweaty head. Uh, and, oh. I called my wife and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Now you understand dating. <laughs> so yeah, personal hygiene, boys. Personal hygiene. Um, but no, he's, he's a lovely guy, but the more nervous he got, the harder he got to shoot. And that was my sort of baptism by fire. You know, after about six hours of doing this with chat lips and everything going wrong in the scene, the Supernatural crew were just sitting there laughing at me. <laughs> so from that moment on, it was dead easy. Curiously enough, though, I've heard a lot of stories that Jim Beaver keeps like, <laughs> making up about our kids. I think he actually had it written in. <laughs> I think it was like, Mark, Mark, yeah, I see, can I get to kiss Mr. Shepard? <laughs> uh, That's not what he said! Oh. <laughs> Jim, your voice is getting a little high pitched. Um, no, the, the, interest, the curious thing about it was, is that, that, you know, yet again, intellectually for Jim, I'm sure it's quite a normal, ordinary, boring thing to do. Kiss another actor. But the closer he actually got to the kiss, the more nervous he seemed to get. <laughs> and the entire crew had witnessed me already going through this. And uh, we were the seasoned veterans here. This was the guy who was very nonchalant about it until he came down to it. And it was just, it was, I think it was actually literally making him ill, the very thought of having to kiss me. So, as you know, it's not actually, it wasn't actually filmed on camera, supposedly. <laughs> it was supposed to be taken on my iPhone. And uh, so Phil, the director, producer director, is, is getting ready to do this. Five and a half minutes it took him to get that photograph. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold up. It's the most uncomfortable position. Have you seen the picture? It's like two yeah. It's the unsexiest thing you've ever seen. Very, very funny. And uh, they milked it as long as they could. Of course, they rolled cameras, so we have it on the gag reel. So that's a lot of fun. And uh, 
Jim, Jim might have asked for a second take, I can't remember. <laughs> Not sure, he did actually say that was all the work I've ever done, all this stuff I've ever done. I remember kissing Mark Shepard. <laughs> Any other questions?